Welcome to my channel. Today I am reviewing another camera and uh, it's a step back or what you could call it to this uh, lovely little camera, the Olympus Trip 35. It's an awesome camera but there are also things to look for uh, if you want to buy one of these cameras. It's a 35mm camera for film, analog camera for film. So you need something like this. Or this. But let's uh, delve into it. On the camera, there's a 40 millimeter f 2.8 lens. And uh, by any means, it's a pretty sharp lens. So it's wonderful to take uh, images with this one. But you can't control it very much. You can set the distance and it's marked by symbols, but actually on the bottom, you also have the distance scale. So you can see the distance changing here. Uh, but there's, uh, uh, there's no range finder in this camera. So you can't change it that way. Uh, there's an uh, awesome, uh, nice looking uh, viewfinder with a bright image, but uh, uh, no indication of uh, anything in, in focus or whatever. Normally, when you look through the viewfinder, there's too little light. You should see a red flag coming up and that should make it impossible to take uh, faulty or if wrongly exposed pictures with uh, too little light. Um, but this one doesn't uh, have that indicator, just uh, take the images anyway. But uh, I had a special model made for myself in uh, some beautiful colors, this one. And uh, everything works on this one, so if I try to take an image in here, in this light, uh, well, it actually says yes. But if I hold my hand in front of the light meter, which is just beside the lens, there's a red flag coming up and it uh, it won't take the image then. It uh, blocks the shutter. Now it can take it. If you want to shoot with the flash, there's a, an indicator up here so you can set it to uh, an aperture value that you have to calculate together with the flash. It's a bit uh, awkward, but uh, that's the old fashioned way of doing it. You don't need a battery in this camera as this ring around the lens is actually providing electricity for the light meter. Uh, so there's no need to have a battery and there's no battery door in this camera. Otherwise it's a very simple camera. Um, you can set the, uh, the film speed from 25. You can see the, the window here from 25, sorry. There. And up to, I think it's 400, yeah, up to 400, and that's uh, that's it. So you can't go with very um, light sensitive film. Rewinding the film, there's a, a lever here for doing that, um, and uh, you wind the film by, by using this uh, dial here, um, but uh, unusually for this kind of camera, the opening of the back door is a sort of a little handle here, so you can open it. And as you can see, my camera is in very, very nice condition. And you often find that they are in nice condition because usually not that many film were taken by these cameras. But they can give you some awesome images. And uh, because it's so such a small camera, so lightweight, I have used it uh, to take a lot of images in the Alps climbing.
love this little camera with its very sharp lens and I like to take it uh, more for climbing and that it doesn't depend on the battery is really nice and it's quite reliable uh, and also the size of it and it feels uh, very light in your hand that's very good there's a few downsides to it uh, it has some vignettings that you also seen in some of the images and it's uh, quite apparent and then there's this malfunction that some cameras have or that might evolve during uh, your use of it with the red flag so I hope you liked the review of the small uh, Olympus Trip 35 uh, which is an awesome camera that can take very sharp images um, uh, and now you also know about the issue with the light meter that uh, has this red flag coming up providing um, stopping you from taking images when the light is not sufficient um, but otherwise I think it's an awesome camera it's a nice uh, second camera even if you have a, an SLR also for film uh, this is uh, nice to have because it's so small and uh, the lens is very sharp so thank you very much for being here and uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get more reviews from my side so thank you very much for this time and bye for now.